In Missouri late today, lawmakers released a graphic report in which a woman accuses Governor Eric Greitens of violent, unwanted sex. Greitens, who's been charged with felony invasion of privacy, denies the allegations. Dean Reynolds is following this story. I want to say again what I've said from the beginning. This is a political witch hunt. Far from resigning, the governor repeatedly said the accusations were overblown and filled with falsehoods. Over three years ago, I made a personal mistake. I engaged in a consensual relationship with a woman who is not my wife. It was a private mistake. It is the latest chapter in a salacious story involving an admitted affair the married governor had with his hairdresser in 2015, just months before he took office. He said, I'll make you feel better. Said, I'll make you feel good. Come downstairs. And today, a report by a special bipartisan investigative committee detailed much of it, referring at one point to testimony which alleged Greitens struck his mistress in the face taped and blindfolded her, groped her without her consent, and called her a whore. It has prompted legislators to call for Greitens to step down. I mean, we shouldn't really have a governor that makes this kind of news. In addition, the St. Louis Circuit Attorney launched an investigation over an allegation that Greitens tried to blackmail his mistress into silence by threatening to release a compromising photo he allegedly took of her. In February, a grand jury indicted the governor for invasion of privacy for taking, allegedly taking, as well as transmitting that photo. Now, that's a felony, Jeff. And if convicted at his trial next month, Eric Greitens could go to prison. Dean Reynolds, thanks very much.